Construction is underway in Santa Maria. The goal, build a new biofilter to treat runoff water from agricultural irrigation. The project taking shape in the northern part of the city in Jim May Park. It's on the east side of Highway 101, just south of the Broadway off-ramp. KCOI 12's Dave Alley is live in Santa Maria with more on what this project will do once completed. Hi, Dave. Melissa, coming up soon, nearly 6,000 acres of farmland will soon send runoff water into the now under construction Jim May uh, Park biofilter. Now, it's a project the city says will protect the groundwater supply plus improve the environment. Construction continues at Jim May Park. Located behind Taylor's School, what is now a large hole will soon be a new biofilter. It's an opportunity for us to take water out of the Bradley Channel and put it into a bioreactor with wood chips where the nitrate that's in the water is turned into a harmless nitrogen gas. Water that flows in from nearby ag fields includes nitrate from fertilizer. That nitrate, when it's in the water, perks into our groundwater basin and creates issues. So the idea is to remove that nitrate prior to it entering the groundwater. The city says its water is currently safe to drink, meeting all state and federal standards. The biofilter is intended to improve and enhance the quality of water, recharging back into the basin. I think I'm very well pleased with it because, you know, it is a, the environment is a very serious concern out here and also good clean water. Uh, is a concern, so I think this is going to be um, a step in the right direction. The biofilter is expected to last 20 years. The city will study its effectiveness over time and determine whether or not it's the right solution for other locations. The intent of the regulators is that if this project works well as a demonstration, other um, agencies or farmers or ranchers could use this same type of system on their property. Another benefit will come to the lake next to the park where a large number of fish died earlier this year. The biofilter should prevent this from happening. By removing the nitrate, it will also help reduce the opportunity for algal blooms, which can happen during warm weather as we see in late summer at the park. You know, the cost of the project, a million and a half dollars. Funding coming primarily through a seven-figure state grant. Completion of the biofilter is expected by spring 2017. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Dave Valley, KCOI 12 Central Coast News. Dave, thank you.